بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next thing we'll try to understand the bgp route options like how we are going to connect uh, to internet and what will be the route exchange and what are the scenarios we we do exchange the complete routes and which scenarios we don't really use complete routes like there are three different options or uh, three different options to connect route uh, uh, three different ways to inject the routes let's try to see the first option now in the first option uh, let's say this is my organization abc and i'm connecting to the service provider now this service provider only advertises the default route and automatically he will deny all the other prefixes so this is the first option where you just exchange a simple default routes which means my organization if it wants to yahoo if you want to google or if you want to go to gmail or anyone on the internet my router actually don't know where exactly they are what is ip let's say this ip so my router don't know where exactly that network is but it says i don't need to bother because i am receiving a default route or i have a default route configured statically or maybe through bgp and i'm just simply send any unknown packet to the service provider and my service provider will take care of everything so he will look after where exactly those networks are so this is one kind of simple way of running or route exchange where the service provider will maintain all the routes you just receive the default routes so this is more common like the same example you can see if you have two isp connections then probably you'll be receiving two default routes from two different isps or maybe you have a static route via two different default routes with a different ad value maybe ad1 ad10 and automatically you will choose any one based on the uh, least metric okay so automatically all the traffic will go from this one let's say this is my primary it has a metric of 10 and maybe this is used if the primary fails now one of the advantage of this simple implementation is there is no uh, much routing you need to do it's more simple you just simply configure the simple default route or simple basic bgp easy most of the small size organizations prefer this but one of the limitation with this one is you cannot do path manipulations let's say i want some traffic should go from service port of one like i want if the traffic is going to internet i want to go from service port of one if the traffic is going to my data center where my servers are hosted it should go from service port of two you cannot do that because in bgp the condition in bgp is in order to do path manipulations you must have the routes in the bgp table so i'm not getting any routes i'm just simply getting the default routes right so just having the default routes will not you cannot do path manipulation here so that's one kind of limitation but most of the small size organizations they prefer this because they, they don't really bother much about the path manipulations as long as they have redundancy if they have two links that's fine but most of the medium size to big size organizations they don't really prefer the first option because you cannot do path manipulation because you want to efficiently utilize the links so they go with the second option in the second option this is my router and the service provider will be sending the routes now the service provider will be maintain millions of routes so the service provider says okay i'm going to advertise the default route which means same like the previous one plus i'm going to advertise the partial routes partial means selected routes i'm going to advertise let's say 13.0.1.1 maybe 172 16 1.1 maybe 150 111 selected routes assume these are the routes of the servers of my on the internet 
So we don't get all the routes. We just because all the routes means there are millions. So if you go and learn millions of routes, then that's going to add more overhead on my router. I don't want to know what is the address of the Yahoo and what, whether it is in my routing table or not. That doesn't really uh, require because as long as you are able to reach Yahoo server, Google server, that's fine. But what I want is I want to reach my servers. They should be present in my BGP table so that I can do path manipulation. Okay, so mostly you go with the second option where you receive the default routes for millions of routes on the internet and the partial routes. Now partial means let's say this is your data center and these are the servers and these partial routes will be advertised here along with this. So the service product will configure BGP in such a way that it will advertise only those routes, not all the routes. And what I can do with the help of this, I can I can do some path manipulation where I can say that to reach those specific routes, I can change my best route to go from service product two. But whereas for the rest of the internet, I can go from service product one. And this is what we can do with the second option. In the second option, we can do path manipulation. Why? Because we have some routes in the BGP table. Again, I'm not maintaining all the routes. I want only partial routes, whichever I want to use for route filtering. So most of the organizations, medium to big size organizations, they prefer the second option. And the main advantage is you, you do the path manipulation here. That's a, that's a good thing about this setup. You still, uh, you still get the default routes here and partial routes. Now there is one more last option you will see. Now in the third option, what we'll be doing is we'll be exchanging all the prefixes. So no partial routes, the service border, exchange all the prefixes, no default routes. Now this is more common when you are exchanging the routes between the service border to service border. Because when one service border is sending the routes to another service border, what they do, they don't exchange the default routes. They need to exchange each and every prefix what they know. And this is more common, the third case. In the third option, you do run the BGP and you will be exchanging each and every prefix. And this is more common when you are exchanging the routes between the service borders. So, so mainly what you need to understand is whenever you are running the BGP between any two routers, like mostly any organization connecting to service border, you might see nothing, no routes will be coming from the service border except the default routes. Or in some cases, you get the default routes with partial routes because the service border will do filtering of all the remaining prefixes. But whereas the third scenario is you might be exchanging each and every prefix, which is more common when you are exchanging the prefixes between the service borders.